What's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums. Monday night, and I thought I'd give you a nice, nice update on the Fluval 12, Evo 12, 13.5 gallon Nano Reef. Hashtag Rico's Nano Tank Challenge 2018. But we've got a lot going on in this new tank. Uh, I'm excited. I have a clownfish pair. Now I have, uh, I'm gonna call it a Wyoming white. That seems to be what it is close re closest resembles. And the other clownfish, which I added yesterday, is a Mocha da Vinci, which is super cool looking. I did want not necessarily any particular clownfish pair in this tank, but I wanted uh, two clownfish that were completely different um, and not really high end, but just, you know, some different clownfish. Uh, these guys have been swimming together for just about all day, really. My wife has come down to look at them quite a few times because she was curious. And since I've got down here, they've been pretty actively swimming together. They were on both sides of the tank when I first introduced this clown and it took about 20, 25 minutes and the platinum Wyoming, whatever, went over there and started to to uh, mingle, and so it's looking pretty good. And I do have to say, what I'm most pleased about, which I knew was going to happen, is once I added that second clown, the uh, white clownfish, you know, goes throughout the tank, and supposed to just like sitting in that one corner all by himself. Now that there's uh, the pair in there, and they look pretty, pretty sweet. Um, as you can see, the shrimp, they're out. They're out and about. Uh, all the corals are out and about. They're all popping. Now, what you will notice with this tank is two things right now. One, I've got my nice brown algae diatome bloom happening, which is all part of the cycle. It, you know, sometimes you can skip it. You know, I got lucky with my uh, planted freshwater tank upstairs. I actually never had a diatome bloom. But... It happens, and it's happened on just about every single tank I've had over 20, almost 30 years of keeping fish. Um, it happened in my 40 breeder, it happened in my 10 gallon reef, you know, my planted tanks, uh, you know, on and on and on. It just happens. Diatome bloom. So, that kind of throws off the way uh, the light, you know, makes everything pop when you have those nice like purple or like with white rock, you know, the light comes right off of it, makes everything look cool. So it is a little, almost looks a little dull, the water clarity. Now, that could be for another reason. If you notice right here, I stopped at Lowe's and got a piece of acrylic and cut it uh, just to put on top of the tank. And for a couple reasons, one, because I'm, for some reason, well, not for some reason, there's no top on the tank like my 10 gallon. I'm getting so much evaporation that I'm topping off um, just about one full liter. Yeah, a thousand mLs, just about, I'm doing like 850. So almost a full liter of RO water a day right now in the winter i'm having to top this tank off now i've got an auto top off system so i can hook that up so it's not about it's not about convenience it's just like wow so i had to go buy a piece of acrylic and put it on top it's going to cut down on evaporation and i won't have to top off nearly as much i just put that on tonight but you know it kind of makes the tank look a little bit more dull with the lights uh, shining through. It looks way better with no top, but I can always take it off for videos and what I'm showing. Now, another thing I recently hooked up, which if you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, at Mass Aquariums, uh, I got the PS2 Fluval Protein Skimmer hooked up. So I took my poly filter out of this first chamber and I added the skimmer. Now, a lot of people say, it you know, it's got to run three to seven days for you to, you know, fully get it dialed in and producing skim mate. Um, so I have no skimmer experience, really, just what I've researched over the years, but I've never, like, actually ran one for a super long time. But 
Uh, I got the air valve all the way opened and the water all the way up to, to do a really wet, wet skim. And like, I really don't know if it's dialed in. I'm sure I'll know in like two weeks when I see some, some shit going, but I figured I'd give it a try. What's it going to hurt? I still have, you know, poly filter, chemi pure, all my media. And the only thing I am missing is that poly filter, which really, you know, filter floss, excuse me. Not poly, I have the poly filter press. Filter floss really polishes your water. Um, no matter, I keep it in just about every tank I've ever owned in the canister or in the hang on back or in your, you know, little sump here action. Well, it's not a sump, but all in one, your overflow box and everything. It polishes the water and makes that crystal, crystal clear. So I'll give you a quick close up of this uh, new clown. He is a little skinny. I told the guy at my LFS, I was like, he's kind of skinny, man. Is he eating? Like, what are you feeding him? Where did you get him? Um, but he was just really, really pretty, and I had a few to choose from, and I was like, you know what? Give me him. I'll fatten him up. I liked him because his dorsal is white, and, you, and I haven't really seen that on many of that style. Hey, look at this guy. What's up, buddy? And just, I wanted two clownfish that weren't like your basic Darwin or Ocellaris and like you're just black or orange and these are what I got. And I'm happy with it and that's cool. And then you get your shrimp going to town and I got a few hermit crabs. So uh, one last thing, this GSP, right? So you guys know I'm doing bare bottom, which I love, it's so easy to clean. Uh, just get right in there with the algae, boom, wipe it off, job done. Anyway this GSP carpet so I don't know if you guys watch inappropriate reefer but he has a drop-off with the GSP carpet and it's slowly taking over the tank like it normally does but it's creeping up the rocks so it's gonna start to creep up the rocks so what I'm gonna do is get a uh, round maybe the size of a half dollar so what's that like an inch or an inch and a half round PVC and I'm gonna cut them at like quarter inch rounds and I'm going to put all this rock up on that PVC. So when you're watching this, you won't even be able to tell it's raised up off the substrate uh, with the way this tank is, but it'll be slightly raised all in the underneath so you, you won't even be able to see it. So if when this GP, the GSP starts to spread it won't really get a chance to crawl up the rock. Like the rock, it won't find one piece of rock touching the ground and then start to crawl up the side. It'll basically just carpet the entire tank and it won't be able to get up and take over the tank. You know, not for like a trillion years anyway. By then, who knows. And then this back wall, I'm gonna do uh, all euphelia. So it's all gonna be flowing. I got the flow so that back wall will just be swaying away. It's gonna look really cool. Anywho, that's my update. This is Mike from Mass. Stay warm. I'm out.